Jude, a quick introduction in Shaky Vision. Like almost exactly a year ago, I purchased an EVS 5000, 5000S, which is an electrical wind instrument, basically a keyboard that is played like a saxophone or uh, another instrument like a flute or so. And I used this opportunity to tinker around and did a few upgrades like this hook for for the um, you know, the earbuds and the stand like this one which was 3D printed and also I used acetone and got rid of the annoying paint job that was on there and now it's just clean and good looking um, little heads up don't use the acetone on the plastic, just use it on the aluminium or whatever this is because otherwise it will dissolve the plastic and you have to repaint it. Anyway, um, the reason why I'm making this video is um, after about uh, nine months of usage I had the problem that the, it wasn't responding, responding anymore. So um, tones I was playing were latching and didn't stop playing and um, the breath control wasn't working anymore. Yeah. So being this like a saxophone, a digital saxophone, you have to blow in there and then there is um, um, a pressure sensor that reads your pressure if you're blowing in there and then tells the computer in there to generate sounds and the sound can be picked up in the headphone jack or as a MIDI signal or wirelessly where there's the wireless button or you have more oh, we can't see this here or you have more um, outputs on here anyway so I searched online and I didn't find anything there was. I didn't want to bring it to warranty because then I lose access to it for a few weeks and maybe they can't help me as well because it was never mentioned that the sounds were latching. So basically you, you blow in there and the sound starts playing and then you stop blowing in there but the sound still plays. And that is really bad if you want to play because you have to like control the lengths of your sounds to, in order to make music, right? Okay, um, and therefore I thought, and therefore I decided to take it apart. Um, I think there's another video of a guy that already did this, so therefore I didn't document everything, but basically it's like sear screw, remove a screw, sear screw, remove a screw, 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 screw. Obviously remove the battery cover, and there's a screw, and there and there. and up there and maybe down there as well, I don't know. No, that's good, but here are more screws. Oh, the lightning isn't good. Anyway, you, you can do it, I'm sure. Be, be gentle and don't strip the screws or otherwise it will look nasty. And now we go to the other footage I have and maybe I talk you a bit over it, over the findings I found. And here we are at the top. You see the board and oh, it's crusty. I have to tell you, I didn't do anything of this, but this looks really terrible. But it's just plugged in with a plug on the left side and you can lift it carefully up after you um, remove the screws. And this is the pipe. So there are two pipes basically. One is for the pressure sensor. This is a lower and you see the yellow stuff in there and that's what's causing the troubles. And here we are already with the mouse piece. I wanted to have a look at it. In the back we have the connectors to the two pipes. One, the left one goes to the sensor and the right one goes straight through the instrument. And this is the, the thing that looks like a duck face for me. <laughs> this is like um, the pressure sensor under the white cap. So you can bite on this and then change tones and stuff like that. Maybe it works like a capacitor, but therefore the plastic thing in the middle, but I don't know. But I thought this was like very interesting to have a look at this. Therefore I'm taking so much time and looking at it. 
Oh, it's so nice. Now it's in focus. Behold. And the back is the cables that goes for the pressure readings. This is the pipe for the sensor. I think it's about 25 centimeters long. And the other one is maybe 60 centimeters. And you see it just runs straight through the, the instrument. And here we have uh, panning. This was the sensor where the pipe stopped. And at the bottom, the second pipe just ends up. And what was very interesting is this thing. This is an SD card holder. And there's actually just a SD card in there with the software on it. 8 gigs in this case. And yeah, I just took a, made a back backup of it and put it back in. I didn't tinker with it. It's too dangerous. And this is the last panning from top, uh, from bottom to top, right? Starting here and going through the different components. So you see how it looks without the screws. And these are the octave rollers and settings and the mouthpiece on top. So, um, ah, what I didn't tell you is how I fixed the problem. I just cleaned out the, the yellow stuff of the, of the pipe that goes to the sensor. And after cleaning it and drying it, it was perfectly okay again. You just have to be careful. I hope that helps you a little bit. Thanks a lot for watching.